Good evening. Hello, teacher. Eh, el micrófono creo que lo tiene apagado, no se le escucha. No. No se escucha, teacher. No se le escucha nada. As something's happening with this uh, headset. Maybe I have missed and plugged this thing. Maybe. Maybe it's in the, in the wrong way. Okay. Yo sí le escucho, teacher. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Can you hear me now? Okay. All yes. right. Yeah, I was checking that I have this... Mm, Plugs, but I don't know if it is okay this way. Yeah. It says, I think black and pink. No, green and pink. Okay, let's try and check. What about now, guys? Can you hear me? Yeah, teacher. <clears throat> All right, so it was in the wrong channel. Okay, I apologize. All right, people. Um. Welcome everybody. Ya no se le escucha, teacher. Hey, now it is okay, right? Okay. All right. We are not going to be using this thing. And maybe we're going to use the other one. Okay. I will try to use the one in the computer. Okay. Maybe. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right, then we we'll change to this one. Okay, here we go. So welcome everybody. Yesterday it was our first class. I hope everybody remember remembers what was the topic. The topic was about an auxiliary verb. What verb was that? Do you remember the verb? The auxiliary verb we studied yesterday? Can. Can. Yes, correct. And what do we use can for? Capacities. What is the usage? Abilities, capacities. Correct. Potential. Correct. So 
potential. Mm -hmm. So things that we can do, we are able to do, okay, um, as a product or maybe our thinking or with our minds, our brains, our studies, our knowledge, right? And abilities too, right? Abilities. We have different kind of abilities. It's not only, it's not only a product that you can touch, uh, but intangible too, right? Intangible, it's mm, also expressed with can, or if you can't, then you say, I can, right? Let's remember the pronunciation. Pronunciation is really important with this verb because usually we say can, but in American English, we don't say can. We say can, 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 can. right? And the negative, the negative in the American English is kind of confusing because it has almost the same pronunciation as the positive one. So we say can't like this right we yeah. stop that letter t can can okay that's yeah. the pronunciation of yeah. the negative yeah we don't say can't with the letter t explosive but we say can yeah can like uh stop t okay mm -hmm. like a stop t all right people um I hope everybody is ready now. Please remember to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say present. I will call the roll. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Present teacher. Welcome, Cecilia. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Is Claudia there? Not yet. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Not yet, Darío. Okay, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Daisy, I remember Daisy was there. Okay, Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Eduardo. Eduardo, I said Edward because I didn't see the letter O, but yeah, it's Eduardo. Okay, uh, allow me to see in the chat something. Oh, all right, Marianne, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present, teacher. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Okay. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Mr. Hernández. Mr. Hernandez. Okay, not yet. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Hello, yes. teacher present. Okay, hello, Karen. Um, Luis Javier Castillo. Mr. Castillo. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. You mailed that, right? No, who said so? Let's greeting. Okay, Marianne Scarlett, she says she's on the way home. 
Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla. Marina Yancy. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Yeah. Welcome, Nelly. Uh, Norma Patricia Viuda de Ar Arrué. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. <coughs> Yeah, right. Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. Okay. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present miss. Okay. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, there you are, always smiling, right? Good, Wendy, good. Okay, people, so is there anyone that I didn't mention? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Allow me to do it, all right, welcome. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, solo saying? tengo una consulta. Mm -hmm. eh, no sé si tendrán algún grupo de WhatsApp, porque no, no estoy agregado. Sí, y... tenemos nuestro grupito de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ahorita le vamos a pasar el link por acá. Ok. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Y ahorita. kind of long, right? So here it is. Okay, there you can add yourself. Okay, please join. Well, we're going to start a class then. Mm -hmm. There were some things that we didn't see yesterday, but we are going to try to do it today. Just as a manner of, um, as a manner of, just give me one second. Okay, here we go. As a manner of continuation, okay. I think I have to do this and here we go. Let's remember, we were saying that we were studying Ken Ken. Uh, Ken, Ken's, uh, Ken Ken refers to, they refer to abilities and qualifications because that's the usage, the usage that we are studying. But that's not limited to that because we can use Ken as a possibility or maybe when we are asking for permission, we use Ken too. And this class, we are seeing this in this context, the context of abilities, okay? It has more usages, but the usage we are studying is uh, Ken as ability, okay? So we were saying, and I mean, we were talking about Ben. Ben was looking for a job, remember? Ben was looking for a job. And what happened with Ben? Um, he was mm, saying or expressing his abilities to get the job, okay? To get the job. Maybe he was in an interview and the interviewer tells him, um, Tell me about yourself, okay? What are your qualifications? What qualifications do you have for this job? Okay, so that's when we use 
the verb can to answer that question when they ask for the qualifications we have for the job, okay? This is when we are looking for a job, okay? This is when we are looking for a job. But uh, let's go and, say, and see, okay? Let's try to see these examples that we have in this slide, okay? And we'll say, I can speak three languages and I'm enrolled in a LESA course, okay? I can sp speak three languages and I'm enrolled in a LESA course. Do you know what LESA is? Do you know what LESA is? The single language. Yes, correct. But the Salvadorian, uh, the Salvadorian code, okay, uh, because it's not universal. So for Salvadorian, then it's called LESA, okay? So um, here we have another example. She can speak Japanese fluently. She can speak Japanese fluently. Let's read the other one. They can drive tall trucks, okay? They can drive tall trucks, gruas, okay? We can work under pressure. That's an ability too. There are people that they can't. They can't work under pressure. And maybe they show different attitudes that are not um, correct. Maybe they get angry. Yeah, maybe they get depressed when they are under pressure. So it's an ability to work under pressure. And let's read the other one. Mm, he can't use spreadsheets. She can't use spreadsheets. Let's read the other one. The sales team can't start a new negotiation. They have lost the contact. Okay. So they lose this opportunity, right? They lose this opportunity so, because they lost the contact. Okay, who wants to read the first one? Let's ask for Jose Gerardo, please. Read the first sentence right here. Only read. Yes, please. Okay. I can speak three language, languages and I enroll it. Uh, Unless, of course. Okay. Esta palabra sería enrolled. En enrolled. enrolled. Mm -hmm. enrolled. Hay que abrir la cavidad para ser old. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Enrolled. Okay. Enrolled. In a less of course. Okay. Thank you, Jose Gerardo. Uh, Mauricio Antonio, please read the next one. Okay. Chicken speaks. Japanese friendly. Very good. Abramos y pronunciamos bien esa e para que le dé el sentido. Fluently. Fluently. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fluently. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. There you Thank go. You. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Nelly, please, the third one. They can drive two trucks. Ta, ta, ta trucks. Yeah, right. Ta trucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Esto significa grúas, okay? Ta, ta trucks. O remol remolcar, okay? De los trucks que remolcan. Right? Like a, a tow. <laughs> yeah, like a tow. Okay, Wendy, please, the next one. We can work under pressure. Thank you very much. Tatiana, please continue. He can't use expressions. Very good pronunciation, Tatiana, because can't is not can't, but can't. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Karen, please, the last one. The South team can start a new negotiation. They have lost the contact. Very good. Okay, so these are examples talking about some abilities or potential things, potential mm, eh, activities someone can do. Okay, um, I want you to 
see these other ones. This is an exercise we were going to do yesterday, but mm, this is um this is on page ten and your manuals. Okay, and Sandra Leticia, please read the instructions. Ay, perdón, te habían apagado el micrófono. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Complete the sentence with the appropriate form of can. Very good. Okay. Cuando tengamos una N y una T juntas, así como acá en sentences, solo pronunciamos la N estilizada, ¿verdad? No como la N que tenemos en español, sacando la lengua, porque a veces decimos nada, vea, o nada y la dejamos adentro, pero no la pronunciamos estilizada. Entonces, aquí sería complete sentences, ¿ok? Sentences. Así como cuando decimos internet, interview y otras palabras con nt, solo pronunciamos la n, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, complete okay. sentences, uh -huh. complete okay. sentences. With the appropriate form of can. Form of can. Form of can. Okay, let's read the number one. Norma Patricia. Yes, I am sorry. I can't help you today. I am really busy. Okay, nice. Yes, it's can. Negative, right? Negative. Okay, number two. Uh, Irma Stephanie, please. Okay. And um, I use can manager to make out on time. I, I was late. Okay, aquí sería negative or positive? Um, positive. Positive? Can manage, sería que sí puede despertarse temprano o a tiempo, pero can manage sería que no puede despertarse a tiempo. ¿Cuál de las dos sería lo correcto? Can. ¿Que puede o que no puede? Que puedo, que Oh, eso es personalmente, ¿verdad? Pero aquí en la oración, en la oración, tenemos aquí como una afirmación. Miren, I'm always late. So, Siempre can she sabe. or can't? Negative. Yeah, I just can't. Can't manage to wake up on time. It's negative. Okay, it's negative. Number two is negative. Number three. Mm. Imelda, please. Imelda Xiomara. Eh, look it right there. Can you see it? It's so odd. Ok. Ahí tenemos dos eh, signos de entonación, ¿verdad? Tenemos uno de pregunta y tenemos uno de admiración. A question and uh, the um, hey. intonation mark, ¿ok? Yeah, and then it says, look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Okay, we are going to give the intonation. So here we go. Look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Okay, vamos a ver. ¿Es negativo o es positivo? Is it positive or is it negative? Positive. 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 Okay, yeah, positive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even though we can say can't like no lo puedes ver, right? Because it's saying, uh, um, it's so obvious, okay? Can you see it is most um, common, okay? It's most, it's most uh, common to use the positive in the questions, even though we use the negative too, okay? 
Number four. Um, Emerson, please, number four. Hey, miss. I can't speak German. I live in Germany for eight years. Okay, so you can speak German, right? I can speak German with uh, confidence because I lived in Germany for eight years. So I practice eight years uh, German. So this person can. All right. Number five. Number five. Let's ask Pablo Adalberto, please. Number five. She doesn't have a driving license. She can drive a car. Okay, positive or negative? Positive. Positive? But she doesn't have a driving <clears throat> license. It's negative. I think it is negative too. What do you think, Pablo? Uh, um, negative. Negative. All right. Yes, because if she doesn't have a driving license, so she isn't able to drive a car. So she can't drive a car. She can't drive a car. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Now let's go and check this because we are studying um, job listings. So when there is an, an opening or they are hiring, they describe the position, they describe the um, roles or the um, skills they need for the job, okay? So they say, we are offering this and this for that position. And these are the qualifications we want to fill, right? So uh, the candidates go to the company and they offer what they have. Their, the skills they have. Okay, so let's read these answer for this question, okay? This is an interview question. Esta es una pregunta de entrevista, de trabajo, okay? A job interview question. So when we say, what are your qualifications for this job? Let's read. I'm qualified, I'm a qualified machine operator. I'm a qualified machine operator. I know how to operate the brass cutting machine. What you may not know is that I'm not only an operator, but an electromechanics. I can repair most of the mechanic issues on these machines. Okay, on these machines, there is something here that it is on on this machine. Okay. Thank you. All right, then we have the activity here is that you have to create sentences using can, okay? So let's look again. Let's take a double look, okay? Veamos doblemente. La primera oración que tenemos ahí dice, I am a qualified machine operator. Hmm. ¿Podríamos crear una oración con quién ahí? I can. Operate. Operate. Machine. Machines. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can operate machines. Okay. So let's see what kind of machines uh, this person can operate. It says, I know how to operate the brass cutting machine. Ah, okay, so I can operate the brass carring machine. Okay. La máquina de cortar la tom, ¿verdad? O un metal. So, let's say. What you may not know is that I'm not only an operator, but an electromechanics. Okay? A ver. Okay. Uh -huh. Luego dice, 
Aquí ya está hecha, miren, ya está hecha una oración. Vamos a ver. Okay, Oh, off the mechanic is mechanic mechanic all right so here we have three three sentences okay three sentences what do you think is the job position they are offering I cannot. Mm -hmm. What do you think um, the job position is? Um, ¿Cómo se llamará este trabajo? Esta, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Industrial mechanic. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. like, like metallurgy, right? But um, if I say maybe this job is a uh, brass cutting machine operator, right? This is what they need, yeah? Operator, okay. Puede ser que el trabajo sea este, ¿verdad? Digamos que así se llama la posición de trabajo que están ofreciendo. Y esta persona es el candidato y llega y dice sus eh, qualifications, ¿verdad? Entonces, what are your qualifications for this job? Mm, I'm a qualified machine operator. Ok. Ahora leámoslo, ¿ok? Let's read it. Uh, who wants to read a ver, ¿quién quiere leer? Please, raise your hand. Ok, Tatiana, please. What are your qualifications for this job? I am a qualified machine operator. I know how to operate the brush Curing, machine what what you may know not know is that I I'm not only an operator but an electric electromechanic. I can repair most of the mechanics issues on this machine all right thank you very much thank you now who wants to read the sentences norma okay okay norma? okay, okay. Uh, i can this operate uh, i can operate the brass cooling machine I can repair most of the matching uses on this machine. Thank you very much, Norma. Okay, so I can operate machines, machines. This is a very interesting word because it's ha it has a letter C H. I mean, the letters C H. This is like a strong pronunciation, but the sound here is like shh. SH, it sounds strange. This is kind of a special sound, okay? It says machines, okay? Machines, machines. uh-huh. Usually we don't say machines, we say machines. Machines oh like the washer machine, for machine. example. Yeah, <laughs> the washer machine, the dishwasher machine. Um, there are a lot of machines, right? There are a lot of machines. Okay, and then it says the brass, brass this is a metal right this is a kind of metal cutting cutting when we have the letter u it has two sounds well the vowels they have two sounds they have the short sound and the long sound when the, when we pronounce these letters we have to be sure we have to be sure in this case it's like 
when we say the word up, you know that word? Up, that's the sound here. Cutting, cutting, up, cutting. Uh, el mismo sonido uh, de cuando decimos up uh, es el mismo ca, ca, cutting. Okay? Uh, there you uh, go. Uh, mm -hmm. Cutting machine. I can repair most of the mechanic issues on this machine. All right. So now I just want to show you, I just want to show you the ones that I had, all right? And you see, they were the same, okay? They were the same. I can operate the brush cutting machine. I can repair mechanical issues. So those are the qualifications of this person right for this job, okay? So now let's think about this other job. Let's think about this other job, okay? I will give you 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds and you read it. A ver. Leanlo ahí en voz baja. 30 seconds. Teacher, eh, me voy a ausentar cinco minutitos nada más. Ya regreso. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask, what are your qualifications for this job? Ahora, digamos esas qualifications with sentences using can. A ver. Mm-hmm. ¿Sí lo leyeron? ¿Sí leyeron yeah. esto? Yeah. Uh, okay. Is there any question about the vocabulary here? He, he car painter. Painter. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's the job position, right? That's the job position yeah mm -hmm. a body out of body painter right painter painter okay uh-huh painter yes painter. okay and it says i'm good at making cosmetic repairs to all kind of vehicles and repainting them so we could make a sentence right for example a ver quien me dice la primera oración usando quien de ahí basándonos en lo que ahí dice I can't uh, paint a car. I can paint uh -huh. cars. Car. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Any other? I can make a cosmetic repair. Uh -huh. I can make cosmetic. Cosmetic. Repairs. Repairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I can make a repair after collision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. I can make repairings after collision. After collisions and or accidents. Okay. Do you see another one? Uh, I can make professional finishes. Okay. I can make professional finishes. Finishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can use a spray guns and all the tall. A spray gun and all, all the tools. The tool. Tools. Tool. And mm -hmm, equipment, right? Equipment. Okay. All the tools and equipment. Like, and it says what things, right? It says, for example, manual and electrical polishers and metal cutting. Okay, metal cutting. Some people, I mean, some painters, they have to, I mean, they have the skill of rebuild, right? With, um, with hammers, right? With hammers and they do it manually sometimes. So it's a very good skill too, right? Uh -huh, to reveal those, to remold them, to remold them, or mold um, manually <laughs> new pieces, right? New pieces to cover the damage, right? That's really interesting. It's really interesting. And it says, I can match and mix, or mix and match the colors, right? <laughs> Okay, people. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Can this person um, do makeups? What do you think? Yeah. Makeup, women makeup, facial makeup. Uh -huh. What do you think? Can a car painter do makeups for women? Yeah. Okay. All right. No, because usually lie. it's a man, right? Usually it's a man. Um, mm, a, a man. So mm, maybe he can't. Maybe. He can't. All right. This is just for a kind of joke. Evan, he uses because he says um, that he knows the color techniques like mixing and matching. That's what women do, right? That's what women do with the makeup. Yeah. That's what I was just joking. Okay. This is just a joke. Okay. Now let's look at what did I prepare. Okay. These are the ones I prepare. And they are similar, right? I can use a spray gun. I can prepare metal in other surfaces. I can refinish damaged body parts and bodies of vehicles. Okay. And it's the same mistake there. Okay. Here we go. Is there any question so far? Is there any question so far about the use of can and can't? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta este momento cuando tenemos que responder preguntas usando can y can't? Eh, teacher, eh, ¿cuál es el nombre del, del trabajo ahí? Uh, oh, over here is the car painter and the other one, look at the other, this is the car painter. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ok, aquí le podemos poner, a ver, ¿qué se les ocurre a ustedes? Normalmente decimos auto, body, uh, I think it is separated, auto, body, 
painter. Okay. Out of body painter. Mm -hmm. Or ese, dependiendo, dependiendo, porque si es para todos los vehículos, vamos a decir, porque puede ser solo de cars. Puede body ser shop. de bikes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Body shop. Body shop, like this. Mm -hmm. Body shop. Mm -hmm. It sounds good too. And it could be also automotive. Automotive. Automotive painter, right? Automotive painter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. En esta pueden ser casi que como lo y quiera llamar el taller, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O la compañía. Pero está relacionado. Está relacionado. Ok. Automotive car, auto body painter, the body shop. Yeah. Oh, auto body shop. Uh -huh. Ok. Is there any questions so far about how to use skin and can't when we answer the questions about our qualifications? Preguntas o no preguntas? No question. No questions. All right. Siempre lo vamos a seguir utilizando. Siempre lo vamos a seguir utilizando durante toda la unidad. But the next topic in it's today's class is how to use would be and could be would be and could be. These are two um, auxiliary verbs. And sometimes in American English, you will hear that they use it interchangeably. But there is a slightly difference between them and even for native speakers, it's kind of difficult manage, to manage would and could, even though it has a slight difference, as I said. By the book, we can say the difference, by the book. But in the use, you will see that maybe it sounds good if you use would, and it sounds good if you use could, okay? Because both express possibility, okay? Both express possibility. But there is a possibility with a certainty, and there is another possibility that it is not certain, okay? That it is not certain. That's the slight difference that I say, okay? Because we have, for example, would, would, it's uh, with a certainty, right? And could, it's more just like a possibility. Okay, so the objective to study this um, is that you will be able to talk about benefits, benefits that you would or you could bring to a company. And we use would and we use could to express the benefits that we want to bring or that we can offer to this company. But there is something very interesting here because there is like a condition that it has to happen something for the other thing happen, okay? They are conditioned. They need the conditioned. Do you remember the if clause? ¿Se acuerdan de la cláusula if? ¿Alguien recuerda? If. Es una condicional, ¿verdad? Es si esto sucede, lo otro sucede, ¿verdad? Entonces, would and could usan mucho esa condición, ¿verdad? Esa condición. Sin embargo, hay eh, oraciones que no requieren la condicionante porque la condicionante ya está implícita. Por ejemplo, cuando estamos buscando un trabajo, when we are looking for a job, la condicionante es que si usted me contrata, if you hire me, this and this is going to happen. If you give me the job position, then this and this is going to happen. So we use could and would in that situation, okay? In that situation. So let's uh, look the question that we answer with would and could. 
this is the question, okay? Esta sería la pregunta que nosotros vamos a responder usando would or could. Y en este caso, vamos a estudiar would be and could be. Estamos hablando de would con el infinitivo, ¿verdad? Y could con infinitivo, ¿ok? En prácticamente son tiempos presentes, ¿verdad? Son tiempos presentes. Aunque would también funcio funciona al pasado, could son cosas que han sucedido en el pasado. Por eso esto trae así como un poquito de confusión. Así que ubiquémonos eh, en una respuesta. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, I can use a would or could only conditional zero? Eh, no. No, no, no. Not only in the zero conditional, because the zero conditional is in the first conditional. Uh, the zero conditional is that this is a fact, okay? This is a fact. If the ice um, get warm, gets warm, then it's going to melt, okay? So it's, it melts. Entonces, oh. es como presente y presente dan 50% de... de Posibilidad más el otro 50% de posibilidad es el 100%. O sea, es cierto. Okay. Okay. Pero en este caso, would es una condicionante que puede que sea, pero no ha sucedido. Ok. Mm -hmm. No hay una realidad todavía. Yeah. Okay. ok. No hay una realidad todavía. Y entonces podríamos usar la palabra como imaginario, en un imaginario, ¿verdad? En un imaginario, si usted me contrata, entonces yo, I would be, ¿ok? Uh, mm. If you hire me, I could be, ¿ok? Ahí es donde vamos a usar esa respuesta. What can you contribute to the company? What can you con contribute to the company? ¿Ok? To the company. So let's go to our manuals. And our manuals, we have a conversation. This is just to understand, okay? Just to understand how we use would be and could be in action, okay? Ya yeah, eso es como en acción. Eso está en la página 11, okay? Page 11. Solo recordemos ahorita la pregunta. A ver, digamos todos esta pregunta. What can you contribute to the company? Everybody, please open your microphones and repeat. What can you contribute the, to the company? What can you contribute to the company? What can you contribute to the company? What could you contribute to the company? To the company. To a la compañía. To the company. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. This is what we are going to try to answer. Okay. A esta pregunta es a la que le vamos a tratar de dar respuesta el día de hoy. Okay. Bien. Entonces, en nuestra agenda, pues tenemos, ¿verdad? Que vimos el, nuestro feedback de Ken and Kent. Eh, ya empezamos nuestra clase 2 de Would Be and Could Be. Y ahorita vamos a la conversation practice, ¿ok? Luego nos vamos a ir al breakout room porque ahí tenemos una práctica de en, en la plataforma. Eh, les he subido un post en la discusión para que ustedes eh, se den gusto contestando, ¿verdad? Eh, luego pues tenemos los written exercises del manual y la sesión uno a uno el día de hoy le tocaría a Cecilia. Okay, the session one on one for today is Cecilia Stroh. And this is your video conference number two. Okay, this is your video conference number two. Okay. Hola, chicos. Hola, 
Okay. <coughs> Would en realidad es un verbo auxiliar que no tiene un significado eh, eh, literal, ¿verdad? O un significado que podemos decir would significa esto, no. Es un auxiliar para convertir otros verbos en, o, o ayuda a convertir los otros verbos a otro tiempo verbal, ¿ok? En este caso, es como que si le agregáramos al verbo ser o estar, sería o estaría, ¿verdad? Esa ia que es como condicional, ¿verdad? Eh, o como un imaginario, porque no es la realidad, ¿verdad? Pero hay como una posibilidad de que va a llegar a ser, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver acá. Y would es el pasado de will, remember. Would es el pasado de will, could es el pasado de quién. Aquí no están cumpliendo pasados, ¿ok? Aquí no están cumpliendo pasados. Vamos a ver entonces. I will read the conversation and then I'm going to do it slower, okay? Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in this sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Luke, can you bring to this company as an employee? Mm, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. That sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be, I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Okay. Vamos a ver entonces. Let me just see you here. Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? No. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. I will I will be a great. ¿Qué significa great? Great. 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 Un gran activo, un gran eh, elemento, ¿verdad? Great es grande. Uh -huh. Asset es elemento o activo, ¿verdad? Okay. Adquisición de la compañía, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Bye. Aquí falta una, una palabra. Okay. I'm sure about that. Look, what can you bring? Okay. What can you bring? Ahí falta ese what. Ahí agréguenselo, por favor, aquí. What can you bring? Okay. 
Entonces, vemos la pregunta se parece mucho a la que acabamos de leer. What can you contribute to the company? What can you bring to this company as an employee? Okay. And let's look at the answers. I would be a great asset in the company. I would be. Okay. I would be. Pero en este caso es un futuro, si se fijan. Okay. I will be a great asset in the company. Okay. Vamos a ver por acá. En donde dice, I can say this would be a great opportunity. Would be es un imaginario porque todavía no lo está desarrollando o no lo ha desarrollado, ¿ok? Su trabajo. Sin embargo, en un futuro va a ser una gran oportunidad o será una gran oportunidad, ¿ok? Vamos a ver en la siguiente. Yes, and because of my experience experience as a manager, I could be, I could be, yo podría ser, okay, I could be of great help, yo podría ser de gran ayuda, okay, is there any question about uh, the usage of would and could over here, hay alguna pregunta, vamos bien, yes, Okay. Teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher. Podría teacher. Pro pronunciar el comfort. ¿Cómo se pronuncia comfortable? This word. Comfortable. Comfortable. Com es como Double. si yo. Uh -huh, como el for no si se pronuncia. Yo... Ajá. Es que esta ah. O. Esta O. Es como que no estuviera, ¿ok? okay. Y se uniría oh, la F com, con la R, ¿verdad? Com, comfort, uh, like this, comfort. Com, Entonces, esta tampoco, ¿ya? Yeah, esta tampoco. Okay. Y vamos a decir comfortable, ¿ya? Yeah? Ah, Porque okay. queda como aquí. Comfortable. Uh, es el uh -huh. schwa sound, ¿ya? Yeah. Ok. Comfortable. Ok. Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh -huh. so, Hagan largo el sonido de la F para que suene cabal. Comfortable. Entonces dice, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Okay. Mm -hmm. A ver, este pretty que ven acá. ¿Qué significará? A ver, este pretty. Bonito, no. Ajá, muy... tiene, oh, exacto, tiene dos usos. Pretty es como yo. <ríe> ok, no, <ríe> bonita, <ríe> bonito. Yeah. Pero también significa eh, bastante, ok, como bastante. Yeah. Uh, una cantidad yeah. mm, considerable. Pretty comfortable. Um, bastante cómodo, ¿ya? Yeah? Bastante cómodo, señor, ¿ya? Yeah? Pretty comfortable, sir. Comfortable. Es que cuando me preguntan a mí, fíjense que, bueno, por mi apellido, ¿verdad? Que a veces me dicen, ay, ¿cómo es su apellido? Uh, Carmen Beteta. Ah, este, ¿cómo es su apellido? Ay, ya tengo yo que deletrear, ¿verdad? Y me dice... Con B de burro. No les digo yo, con B de bonita les digo yo. <risa> y si no saben cómo se escribe bonita, ya me fregué. <risa> ok. <risa> sí, porque no, no puede ser B de burro. No, no, no. <risa> Ajá. Y menos que me digan de vaca. Ay, Dios mío. <risa> no, 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 no. <risa> bueno, eh, continuamos. Ok. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Okay, is there any question about the pronunciation of any other word? Is there any other question? Pronunciation, meaning, grammar. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. pronunciation, the name, Kurt. Mm -hmm. Name, Andre Kurt. Where, where is it? Where is it? The 
en la pronunciación del nombre de, del otro chico. Oh, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. Ajá, Kurt. 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 Kurt and André. Mm -hmm. Andre, they say Andre and Kurt. Mm -hmm. Y si no le decimos Kurt, porque acuérdense que era para Honduras, ¿verdad? Entonces es en Spanish también, ¿verdad? Fuera en El Salvador, igual Kurt. <laughs> Pero no, en English sonaría como Kurt. Kurt. Mm -hmm. Okay, people. So now we want to listen uh, some of you to some of you um, doing the role play here. And we want to listen to... Claudia Maria, please, and Imelda, role play the conversation. Hi. Hi. I begin. I begin. Yes, please, uh, Claudia. It's okay. Hmm. Here, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Uh, pretty comfort, comfortable seat with my experience. I can say this will be a great opportunity. 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 I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience, experience in the construct industry. It sounds great. Yes, um, because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Very good, thank you very much. Okay. Pronunciation, let's refine this. And when we pronounce these word, we don't say the letter L, okay? We just say would and we just say could, okay? We just say would and could, could, would, could, would, okay? Bien. Hemos aprendido también que podemos contractar, ¿verdad? Que podemos contractar el would. Lo podemos contractar y normalmente pues decimos I'd. Normalmente las contracciones no son para un lenguaje formal, ¿ok? Y como aquí estamos en una entrevista de trabajo, por eso no usamos esta contracción, sino que decimos I would be. Uh -huh. Porque es un ambiente formal, ¿verdad? En donde vamos a utilizarlo. Claro que se puede contratar, eso es correcto. Pero en este ambiente de formalidad, vamos a decirlo completo, ¿ok? I would, I would be. I would be. Uh -huh. I would be. Okay, then. let's go to the, um, to the break up. No, no, that's, no, no, stop it, stop, stop it. Okay, mm, just give me one second. I will stop sharing. I'm sorry. Bye, vamos a hacer una cosa. We are going to do something. It's 9.08. Mm -hmm. Allow me to go over here and let me find out this thing. Ok, yo creo que nos vamos a divertir un ratito. Vamos a decir un trabalenguas. ¿Qué les parece? ¿Les parece? Para que aprendamos okay. a pronunciar. Okay. Para que aprendamos a, a pronunciar teacher. would and could. Ok. Well, Ahorita lo vamos a sacar por acá. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. 
Solo déjenme llegar ahí que ya lo tengo por acá. Cuidado. Okay. Va a sonar un poquito como uh, how much wood with a woodchuck chalk, ok? A ver si ya conocen ese. ¿Ya lo conocen? A ver quién conoce ese. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? ¿Lo conocen? Mm -mm. No. 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 Okay. okay, ya lo vamos a poner por acá. Vaya, más o menos. A ver. Lo tenía abierto y lo cerré, fíjense, ahorita. Ahorita, por eso me, me ha costado llegar ahí, pero aquí está. Ahorita. Porque, y también me, me recordó ahí Tatiana que estaba mostrando los, los WhatsApp. Mm. <risa> Por eso tuve que cerrar varias cosas para no. Ok, por aquí, por aquí está. Ya llego, ya llego. Ok, casi, casi estoy. Pero es para que nos divirtamos un ratito y después nos vamos a break up from the bar. <risa> Vale, por acá, por acá, por acá. Ni había tocado, ya me estaba sacando las patas ahí. Oh my goodness. <risa> ok, ok, bueno, se me cerró todo. Ok. No, it is not possible to get it. No. Entonces lo vamos a poner desde Google. Ok. 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 Por acá lo tenemos. Lo vamos a agarrar de la Wikipedia para que no nos cueste. Bueno, nos mandó a Science. It's okay. Les voy a pasar un link. Ok. Ahí va. Ahí está. Para no mostrarlo aquí el sitio. Ok. Vale. Entremos en ese link y nos vamos a esa página. Ok. Y se van a ir hasta abajo, hasta abajo, hasta abajo, hasta abajo. ¿Ok? Y ven que hay una marmota ahí. ¿Ok? A woodchuck. Mm, solo tienen que bajar como un poquito. <risa> Donde encuentran a woodchuck. ¿Ok? Ok. 
Yes, thank you very much, Miss Pineda. Okay, it says, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, vamos a ver. Open your microphones and try. Okay, aunque se oiga como el mercado central, no importa. Abramos los micrófonos y oigámonos diciendo, okay? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Uh huh. Um, how, how much, much, how much would a woodchuck chuck? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? Right. That's a question. That's a question, and we're we're asking about the amount of wood, the material, right, that they chew. Um, they can chuck like the the wood because they, they are woodchucks. Okay, woodchuck. So how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck? Wood. A ver. How much? <laughs> how much wood to our wood to chuck? Mm -hmm. If if a wood chuck could uh -huh, chuck wood. Ok, lo voy a escribir acá así más o menos como iría sonando, ¿ok? Ajá. How much would I would chuck uh -huh. chuck if I would chuck uh -huh. good chuck good. Uh -huh. Good chuck good. How much would I would chuck if I would chuck good chuck good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Notemos que es la misma pronunciación de wood como madera, W O O D, se pronuncia exactamente igual a el verbo que estamos estudiando, wood. Okay? Es la misma pronunciación. It's the same pronunciation. Okay? Ajá. Uh -huh. How much wood? Yes, good chuck wood. Ok. Va, lo vamos a leer otro poquito más rápido. A ver, a ver, tratemos de leer. Let's try to do it faster. We're going to say, um, how much wood would, would a wood chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Ok. Ajá. Uh, let's do it again. How much wash a wood chuck chuck wood? How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Okay. Vamos a ver. Everybody. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Yeah, uh huh. So uh, this wood chuck would chuck a lot of wood, right? I chuck if I would chuck more to the wood. Okay, good. But ahora lo vamos a hacer con ritmo, okay? With the rhythm, okay? With the rhythm. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> right. What was that? Hey. All right. Now try with a clap with each sound. For example, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood Chuck, 
A ver. Who wants to do it alone? A ver. Who wants to do it uh, by yourself? A ver. Uno solito. A ver. Who wants to try? <laughs> Good chuk if a word chuk chuk wood. Okay, nice. That's nice. That's nice. This is pronunciation, remember. Uh huh. How much wood would a wood chuk if a wood chuk wood? Very How good because the letter. Good chuck, chuck, it's a good chuck, good chuck, good. Yay, Batana, very good. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Great. Well done. All right, who wants to try? Who else wants to try? Uh huh. How much good, good, a good chuck. Exactly, yes, that's correct. That is correct. Yes, Wendy, there you go. There you go. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahí les queda para que mañana ustedes, aunque sea con nudo en la lengua, vengan, ¿verdad? Ya bien listitos para decirlo. ¿Qué es lo que estamos viendo acá? La pronunciación, la pronunciation. No pronunciamos la letra L en would ni en could, ¿ok? Y usualmente es como retraído. I would be, I would be. I would be, I would be. I would, 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 y la letra D hacia arriba. Behind the teeth, on your palate, over, over, there you say, uh, would, yeah. All right. Would, what? I will be of great help. I will be of great help. I would bring my experience to this area. I will be of great help solving uh, problems. Of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So think about the contributions um, you can bring to your company. Think about that. So in our uh, platform, please, I need you to go to the platform now. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the platform, we've got this. In the discussion label, please click on the discussion label and you are going to find a post and it says, what can you contribute to the company? And I, mm, I wrote two questions that we have on the manual, but we want to answer these questions. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? All right. Okay. For some reason I'm having, I'm still having trouble with the sharing. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to do it in the basic sharing, in the, in the basic option. Okay, it says, what can you contribute to the company? There are two ways to get here. There are two ways, okay? Los que no, nunca han participado en discusión, ustedes se van a este menú, okay? En este menú hay una viñeta que dice discussion. Esa es una manera de llegar, dando clic acá, okay? Usted da clic ahí. Y le va a aparecer una lista. ¿Ok? Le vamos a poner all topics para que nos aparezca la eh, discusión del día de hoy. ¿Ok? Today's discussion. You can click on, on the link and here is the activity. And it says, what can you contribute to the company? 
Can you name three ways to contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? What specific benefits do you provide to the company, to your company? And then the activity is make a list of sentences. So remember that a sentence has a subject, a verb, and a complement. You are going to write these sentences to answer the questions. And here I give you three examples, okay? Because you have to name three ways you contribute to the company's mission. Okay, then number one, it says, I have a healthy lifestyle, so I don't call in sick often. That's my contribution, that I am always there, okay? I stay after hours when customers require it. Number three, I'm accountable to the committee if there are any issues. Therefore, I implemented the zero error policy, okay? It was my invention. It was my idea to implement the zero error policy. So, because I am accountable to the committee if there are any issues, okay? Y luego tenemos una explicación. Here we have an explanation about how to use could and would. Okay, and it says are both used to express conditionality or the idea that something is not sure or definite, but they have slightly different connotations. Good is used to express possibility, while would is used to express definiteness as long as certain conditions are met. For example, the question, this questions we have up here could become, what would be your contribution to the company? It means that there is a condition implied, right? What could be your contribution to the company? That's a possibility. If you see the difference between would and could here, try to write sentences to answer. What would be your contribution and what could be your contributions? For example, I have two examples here. I have the would be example and the could be example. I would be of great help in the customer service area. And then I have the other one. I could be a good front desk clerk. I don't call in sick often. Okay, because I have three examples right here. Then I uh, transform them into a possibility or into a condition. Okay, into a condition. Even though it could be like a future, an imaginary situation, we could just would, remember that. Remember, always remember that. Entonces, acá, ustedes vieron, ¿verdad? Entramos por esta viñeta, le dan all topics, les va a dar eh, el link para que lleguemos hasta esto, que se los va a desplegar cuando usted clic aquí. Luego, Usted lee acá que tenemos tres maneras, le están pidiendo que diga tres maneras de contribuir, de sus contribuciones a la, alcanzar el objetivo de la compañía, ¿verdad? Mission is the objective of the company, ¿ok? Y tenemos la otra pregunta que contestar. ¿Cuáles son los beneficios específicos que usted le provee a su compañía? Estamos hablando de su propia información. Estos que ven acá son ejemplos, ¿ok? Ustedes van a hacer una lista de tres oraciones. Miren, tres oraciones porque aquí me piden tres maneras en las que yo contribuyo a la compañía, ¿verdad? A alcanzar el objetivo. ¿Cómo se hacen las oraciones? Sujeto, verbo y complemento. Eso es para que nosotros respondamos estas preguntas, ¿ok? Luego, hay una pequeña explicación de cuándo usamos could y cuándo usamos would. ¿Para qué se usan? ¿Verdad? Si los dos se parecen mucho. Los dos expresan prácticamente lo mismo, diríamos, pero no. Tiene una pequeña eh, diferencia en la connotación o en el significado de, de cada uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, decimos que could lo usamos para expresar posibilidad y would lo usamos para expresar algo que es más definitivo. O sea, algo que eh, si se dan las condiciones va a suceder, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, acá tenemos en qué se convertirían estas preguntas que están arriba, ¿verdad? Si ustedes se fijan aquí dice, can you name three ways? Pero aquí podemos nosotros transformarle y decir, what would be your contribution to the company? 
¿ok? ¿Cuál sería su contribución a la compañía? Porque hay una condición implicada, por ejemplo, la condición puede ser que los suban de nivel, ¿verdad? O un, gana una certificación, eh, ahora pues ya no es solamente local, ahora es regional, ¿verdad? Uh, o sea, esa condición que está implicada es la que estamos diciendo acá, would be, ¿verdad? Ahora, ese sería como el if, esa condición sería como el if. Y luego pues tenemos en qué se convertiría si usáramos could. Sería what could be your contribution to the company, como una posibilidad, ¿verdad? Como una posibilidad. Entonces, vamos a escribir, a tratar de escribir eh, oraciones así como esta. Una oración para una y una oración para la otra. O sea que tenemos cinco oraciones que hacer. Miren, estas son en las que yo contribuyo porque es mi trabajo, ¿verdad? Ahora, si hubiera una condición o algo que cambia mi condición dentro del trabajo, ¿cuál podría ser? mi contribución, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos a ir al break up. ¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? ¿Sí se entiende? Si no, eh, pregúntenme. Sí, teacher, si podría explicar nuevamente las oraciones, dice que vamos a hacer de lo Tres, que nosotros hacemos. cuatro y cinco, sí, de ustedes. Ah, de uh -huh. lo que nosotros hacemos a diario en nuestras oficinas, ¿verdad? Exactly. Algo relacionado a su eh, puesto de trabajo, ¿ok? To ah, your okay. job position. Solo, ¿Mm? solo tres. Sí, porque es lo que nos mm, pide esta pregunta, ¿verdad? Can you name three ways you contribute? Esas son como en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Ahora estas ya vamos utilizando would y could, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Estamos bien todos? ¿Estamos tratando de responder? ¿Estamos sí, tratando per, de responder? Perdón, eh, perdón teacher. Eh, en good y cool, eh, ¿cuál, perdón, cuál fue que dijo que es este algo cuando podría ser? I could. Could. Es, es como una problema. possibility. Possibility. Uh -huh. Yes, possibility. Okay. Uh -huh. También usamos quién en tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Como una possibility, ¿verdad? Y okay. could be es como en el momento en que yo lo pongo también como una posibilidad con una condición, ¿ya? Yeah? Posibilidad algo así. con condición, ok. Gracias. Uh -huh. Ok. En este caso de la pregunta, ¿verdad? En este caso de la pregunta que estamos tratando de contestar. Uh -huh. Gracias. Okay. Uh -huh. Bien. ¿Se entiende? ¿Todos vamos bien? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Nos vamos a ayudar entre nosotros. Eh, probablemente usted, cuando uno comunica, ¿verdad? Ya se le aclara un poquito más la idea. Entonces ya usted puede escribir sus oraciones con platicándolo con su compañero, ¿ok? Discussing the roles, responsibilities, and what you do. What's the way you contribute to your company's mission, ¿ok? So, allow me to... Todos van a responder. Ah, eso no les enseñé. No sé si... Bueno, ya lo han hecho. Ya tenemos... Estamos en el sexto, ¿verdad? Eh, para responder, ustedes le dan submit, ¿ok? Ok, esperemos que to to todos están available, ¿verdad? Mariana está conectada, sería la única que me ha enviado mensaje. Uh -huh. Teacher, I'm driving. Oh, ok, ok, entonces uh, vamos a hacer una cosa, voy a dejar de... 
de tres. De tres. Para que podamos platicar. Okay, it's 9.34, so let's take about 10 minutes, okay? Let's take about 10 minutes doing this activity. And you can discuss, try to use all your vocabulary, try to use can, could, possibilities, try to use would, okay? So here we go. Hello, how's it going? Hello. Hello, Mauricio. Eh, Hello. Hello, eh, José Gerardo. Entiendo, entiendo que es only eh, hacer las oraciones eh, con las Ajá. contribuciones que le, le brindamos a la empresa, ¿no? Exactly, exactly. But y you can discuss... a lo último responder las preguntas con, bueno, con Cooley Wood. All right, yeah, but those are contributions too, but in a different meaning or connotation, okay? Si yes. es con un significado así si levemente es diferente. Es como, eh, como que es, como que es ya seguro, ¿verdad? 
Ajá, o sea, si se dan las condiciones, como, if you hire me, right? Ajá. Si me contrata, yeah. Or if you give me the promotion, okay? Or if I get the certification, then that's a condition for this thing happen. También puede ser en un futuro imaginario, como decíamos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ajá, en una situación imaginaria. Okay. And the idea of working in groups is that you can discuss with your classmate uh, to put in order all, uh, all the pieces together, okay? O sea, trabajar en equipo acá es para que discutan y tengan como la, y pongan en orden sus ideas, right? Discussing. Okay, okay. Okay, que se compartan y se ayuden, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will check another group, so continue working, guys. Okay, okay, so, miss. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hello, teacher. Hi, Tatiana. Tell me, everything okay here? Yes. Yes. So, so. Okay. Eh, eh, estamos haciendo ahorita un, eh, como lo de una compañía de servicios. Okay. Este. Yo, yo no la había entendido muy bien porque yo le puse in my work, I will, I will contribute my experiences. Mm -hmm. que yo, yes. contribuyo con, yo, yo, uh, yo contribuiría con mi con experiencia. Exactly. O sea, uh, right now you have to use your own information. The idea of being in, a, in this forum and the breakout room is for you to discuss with your classmates and also they can help you, they can assist you with putting in order all your ideas. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Así que la idea es que discutan, platiquen y eh, vean, pero es de su propia experiencia, ¿verdad? Entonces cada uno lo va a hacer individual en la plataforma, pero ustedes van a discutir para poner en orden las ideas y le ayudan el uno al otro para hacer las oraciones, ¿ok? That's the idea. Ok. okay? okay. okay. Eh, teacher, hay algo que no entendí. Si la, la discusión de la de la plataforma lo vamos a hacer dentro de la clase o después de la clase. No, ahorita mismo usted va haciendo sus cinco oraciones. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Las tres que son eh, contestando las dos primeras preguntas y las otras dos que son una por would, would be y otra por could be. Uh -huh. Ah, yo okay. lo iba a hacer después de clase. <ríe> ah, vaya. Vaya, okay. Okay. La uh -huh. necesitaba aquí. <laughs> ok, ok. Yeah, I want it, porque así queda de respaldo que trabajamos en esto, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, ok. Thank you. Ok, I will go to another group, so continue working. Thank you, teacher. Ajá. Que se queda sí, después ah, de tu horario. Después de tu horario laboral. Ajá. Ajá, cabal, así. I'm, re I'm responsible and I finish my daily tax after my hours. Ajá, ajá. De mi horario sería como de mi sketch, ¿no? Eh, una pregunta, sí, ¿cómo, ¿cómo? Sí, sketch. 
¿cómo sería ajeno, ajeno a, a mi área o ajeno a mi trabajo? Um, another, another area. Yeah, to a different area, to um, o sea, the area yo, I don't belong to. Mm -hmm. Te voy a compartir la idea que yo tengo. Okay. Uh -huh. es, eh, ¿Cómo contribuye a mi compañía? I share ideas and solutions to problems. Uh -huh. eh, son ajenos a las áreas. Trato de compartir ideas y soluciones a problemas que... Eh, Quizás no me compete, pero trato de apoyar. Ah, uh, ok. That are not my competences. Ok. okay. Um, it is to get a word. Ok, I'll get a word. It will be like... Um, that's like collab. Co collaboration, right? I... Co I, I uh, collaborate. No, no, no. I collaborate. Collaborate. Uh -huh. Collaborate. To uh -huh. ideas. With... With a different with different areas, okay. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Allow me to find a word. Yeah, others, others, and external. Mm. No, because they are internal, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, mm, I will say other, other, other different areas. Okay, other different areas. Mm -hmm. Or just with different areas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, porque ajeno is that you don't belong to, yeah, but you belong to. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. We could say other areas, other areas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you can say because of my experience, right? Because of my experience, I can collaborate with other different areas. Mm -hmm. Así como en la conversación, ¿verdad? Because of my yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, continue working. I'm going to check another group, all right? Okay. Okay. Entonces, Oscarito, usted pondría... Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hello, teacher. Hi, Maria. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jose Alexander. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Como vamos? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have read your three sentences? Okay. Yes, teacher. Ok, the idea is that you help each other, ok, la idea es que se ayuden el uno al otro acá, ok, you can ask, you can discuss, how to say this, how to say that, ok, that's the idea of being in a breakout room, ok. Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello, Karen. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. How's it going? Oh, no termino. <laughs> okay. But you can share with your classmates here, okay? Compartanse, okay. discutan, help each other. Ayúdense el uno al otro, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. I'll go to take another group, okay? Okay, teacher.
Okay. Uh, are you able to hear me? To hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, people. Look, I have two responses here. I have Nelly and Marianne. I'm sorry, I'm going to do this. Okay. Maybe they are not working. Jose Bernardo, hello. Hello, teacher. Cannot hear you. Jose Bernardo, are you there? Uh, hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Hear me? No, I can't hear. No. Something's happening. Okay. Let's just oh. connect this thing. Okay. It says that I can hear here, but Jose Bernardo, are you okay there? No, teacher. Oh, can there you, you are. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, then we can read over here. Nelly says, I can learn different activities quickly. It means I'm a fast learner. Remember in the conversation? I'm a fast learner. Okay, I can learn different activities quickly. I can design modern presentations. Good, modern presentations. Yeah, that's a good ability. Yeah, I can socialize with many people. Great. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are a very good conversation. Conversa I'm sorry. Conversas conversationalist. Yeah, it's kind of long. Me sigue dando problema el, el headphone. Vamos a ver si lo puedo desconectar. Okay. Uh, Jose Alexander, hello. Hello. Then me desconecto me conecto. Okay. Sorry. I'm really sorry about this. Mm. That's a dear paired. Okay, entonces tenemos por ahí. Sí, sí me escuchan, ¿verdad? Espero uh -huh. que todos estén escuchando. Perdonen, disculpen. Okay, gracias. Gracias por su comprensión. Uh, tenemos la respuesta de Marianne. Marianne says, I'm always available when you need help for a report. I always try to have the documents ready before they are requested. So she is proactive, right? She is proactive. And then we have, I always try to have the documents ready before they are requested, proactive. I am punctual when I am at work so as not to have problems we, when living, okay? Uh huh. When living, it could be while living. No, when living, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then let's look at another response here. Okay, Carlos Vladimir says. Offering a service of excellence in the requested requirements. All right, that's a very good way. Uh -huh. Recordemos que pedimos subject, verb, and complement, like a sentence, because that's easier. Pero está bien, él ha comenzado acá como offering a service, como un subject, okay? Offering a service of excellence. Excellence. So, ahí todo ese sería el sujeto de la oración, right? In the requested requirements. Be at work punctual. Punctually, I'm sorry. Punctually, 
Okay, yes, punctuality. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's in the mission, right? That's in the mission to do all the activities on time. Uh, then coordination of the work to be carried out each day. Mm -hmm. uh, will be a great help in the IT department. All right. Mm -hmm. So aren't you in the IT department yet? Entonces, Carlos Vladimir quizás no está todavía en ese departamento, ¿verdad? No, no. Okay, no. está aplicando. You are applying. All right. I could be a good HR manager. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. of course. That's a very good <laughs> point of view, right? I could be a good HR manager. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Mauricio says, I develop new projects. Develop. Present tense, right? I develop new projects or add new project. Si fuera solo un proyecto, le faltaría aquí una letra A. Okay, oh, okay. para decir, I okay. develop a new project. Okay. Y no sería um, plural, letter S, right? New project. Okay, okay. I have experience in personal management, all right? I have ability. Ability in English doesn't take the letter H, okay? H. okay. Uh -huh, to innovate. I am very responsible. I will be great. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. En este caso ya el sujeto ya no sería I, sino que lo que usted quiere sería it. It would be mm -hmm. great. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y ya no sería in nice, no entraría. Okay. Uh, it would be great to have a better position. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. To give you. the best of my experience. I could get much more if I spoke uh, Cor Korean. Korean, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. To develop the project. All right. Uh, I, I work good. in the uh, Korean company. Oh, really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you, uh, yeah. If you could uh, speak Korean, then it will be the best um, asset. I mean, yeah. for you to get another big position or a great position, better position in the company. All right. Good. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Uh huh. And you could give much more. Yes, very good. I am a very positive person. Uh huh. Me sigue dando problema. Okay. And always look for a solution. I'm a person who tries to help my partners. I'm very sociable with all people at work. I would like to work in this company for many years to continue. Giving my best. Ok, miren, esta es una forma de utilizar would. Y esta es una forma muy eh, educada de decir yo quiero, ¿verdad? O yo quisiera. Eh, I would like to work in this company. Okay. Y luego pues tenemos, I always arrive early to my work. I'm responsible and if, if necessary, I stay after my schedule. Mm -hmm. I'm very collaborative in different areas. Okay, very good. Very good statements, guys. Very good statements. I would be a great help in the IT department. I could be a good HR manager. Okay, thank you, Carlos. And then we have Cecilia is here. I could study English, but better the services to my clients. Okay, I could study English for offering better services to my clients. Okay, Cecilia, ahí ya sería de armarlo como así. Vamos a poner. I could study English. English siempre iría con mayúscula. Okay for offering uh, uh, offering better services to my clients. Okay, there you go. 
or a better service, offering a better service because it's only one, the customer service, right? So a better service, okay, to my clients. There you go. Then I will write some over here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Very nice, guys. You did a very good job. And I hope you could help each other in the breakout rooms. Congratulations, everybody. I'm going to check the other ones during to, I mean during the day tomorrow. And it's all all oh, oh my god, three minutes after 10. So uh we're gonna stop right here. Remember that we have some written exercises in the manual that we can do we're gonna do it tomorrow in class okay don't worry and if you have any questions please let me know let me know and the other thing is that you have to do your homework i think um you have to get ready for me to call the roll the last time please everybody turn your camera on and say present when you hear your name Cla carlos vladimir rodriguez diaz Present. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Present, teacher. Claudia Maria. Can you hear me? Present. Yes, teacher. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present, teacher. Claudia. Okay. I need to hear if you're saying present. Would you hear me? Teacher? Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Una... Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Present. See, there is something is not going good over here. Speakers. Sorry, my sister. Okay. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present teacher. Okay. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Alexander. Present. Present. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. And Janet Granal. Okay. Have a very good night, you too. Um, Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa, right? Karen Janet Granal Sorellana. Present. Javier Castillo. Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Present. Okay, Marina Jancy Sandoval Bonilla. Present. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Nueva Patricia Viuda de Arre Vázquez. Present, teacher. Carnoé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Pablo de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Diana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, people. The session one on one for today is for Cecilia. Cecilia, are you there? Do you want to stay? Cecilia, ¿me Okay, then everybody have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Do your homework. Good night, teacher. 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 Hello, Cecilia. Hello, teacher. Lo que tenemos por aquí a Karen, permítame. Karen. 
Miss Granados. Hello, teacher. Es que no me podía salir de la reunión. Oh, okay then. Have a very good night, Karen. Good night, teacher. Night, night. Bye. Okay, Cecilia, here we are. Is there any question I can help you with? Mm, no, teacher. Uh, only my problem is that uh, with the platform, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, with the senior, uh, with the internet, uh -huh. but I understand uh, a little bit every day, well, Two, for two two and two class uh, only that uh, the problem with the internet oh okay uh, it's because of the signal that you don't have a good audio maybe that's the same thing it's happening to everybody in the class because if you see I'm having trouble with the audio too and also with um, sharing the screen but th those are situations of zoom I think mm -hmm. Maybe Zoom is having these situations, right? Yes. Uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, I have many problems with with the senior. Oh. But today, I I try to to be more concentrate in the class, and I I try to to complete to the platform, but very difficult because I. I can't to open the 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 platform. Oh, but you can open the platform at the same time that we are in the class, or you can access. Uh, I can, but very slow. Oh, all right, all right. So password, username is okay, and you can access. Uh, it's okay, but uh, the com my computer is the problem, okay. but. Do you, have the mobile app? Do you have the mobile app? Yes. En el celular, usted puede bajar la aplicación. Entonces, puede estar en, en, en un device, puede tener su aplicación móvil y, y, en, y en la computadora, pues, estar haciendo la videoconferencia para que no le cueste mucho, digo yo. Y hice la, la, la conferencia en el celular y tenía abierta la aplicación. Pero ya mañana voy a intentar ponerme más cerca de la, de la señal del internet. Ah, ok. Ok. Yeah, because, uh, pero sí la, la ha bajado. Sí, sí. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque así a veces se hace un poquito más fácil, ¿verdad? Some, sí. Sometimes it's easier. Sometimes it isn't because of the signal and you are right. Yeah. yeah. Some, sometimes it, it's difficult to have two applications at the same time working, uh -huh. yes, yes. running up. Ok, mire, um, usted puede, cuando tenga situación así, you can watch the video, ok? When you have any trouble with the connection, try to connect, ok? Try to connect every time that, um, but at the end, if you're not able to connect to join to the conference, then you can watch the video, ok? Uh -huh. You can okay. watch the video. Mm -hmm. I send the link for the whole video playlist. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So you can access through YouTube instead of the platform because sometimes it, um, it makes some trouble uh, to access to the videos because of the sign too, right? But sometimes we have the applications like YouTube or social media easier because they are in our plans, right? Mobile plans, plans. So it's easier for us to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, no problem. And if you have any question, please let me know. Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. But now I don't have a question. Okay, no problem then, Cecilia. And it was a pleasure to meet you, all right? Even though I couldn't see you, your face your face tonight, but maybe in another time it will be, all right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, have a very good night, Cecilia. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye.